just editing this down at home before posting it and realised that I didn't actually change my t-shirt before uh, videoing the uh, the uh, projection room. So apologies for that, despite how it looks, I did actually get some paint on the walls, it's not all on my t-shirt, it does look that way anyway, so I uh, don't normally look like that, but I had literally just gone upstairs from painting. Enjoy! Before we show you the actual projector, this is a 35mm and 70mm um, cinema projector. You can see the sprockets here, the inner, the inner sprockets are 35mm, the outer ones are 70 Got a piece of 35mm film laced into it. I'm going to show you the basic operation of the projector. So if you look from behind, which is where the lamp would normally be shining, um, you'll see that there's a rotating shutter blade. I'm just turning the projector over really slowly. And this rotating shutter blade has got a specific function. There's a projector gate with a film in it. I don't know if you can, if I can just see my finger wobbling around on it. Um, and the film is dropped into the gate at 24 frames a second. But as the film moves, a shutter blade covers the, the aperture. So as, a, as that's covered, the film is now being pulled into the gate, the next frame of film, and that moves away to ex in, the, in a way to expose the light. So the light then flashes through the frame, and the next shutter blade comes over, and so on and so on. So what you're actually seeing on screen is a series of still pictures. You never actually see the film move. If you look, the film's stationary, or it, as, it, as, as the shutter moves away, the film's stationary. So this is what gives the image of uh, the illusion of a moving image. It's actually a series of still images. So we're now looking into the back of the gate with the light source at the front where the lens would normally be. And you can see the shutter blade turning round. Hopefully you can see that the film looks to be stationary in the gate, but actually it's not. It's moving in between each exposure of the light. This is the 35mm projector in screen one. Um, which is one of the original projectors from this was installed in 1972 Obviously it came out. I took it out in 2005 and already enclosed reinstalled it in 2007 back in its original place So just to show you what's what inside here This is a two and a half kilowatt Zenon lamp and um, it's quite an old design now with the lamp being vertical um, There's a mirror behind it a small mirror in front of it. This focuses light through there if I open the dowser, it goes into the projector gate, which is what we've just been looking at. So that focuses light onto the projector gate. This is the projector mechanism itself. It's exactly the same as what we've just been demonstrating. So here's the top sprocket. We form a loop here, in through the gate, intermittent sprocket down here, around the sound head. This is the bit that does the sound. This reads the sound from the edge of the film. This is analog only. There will normally be a digital reader just here to read the digital sound. Um, but that, that's been taken off uh, by me, it does need to be installing. Comes back round here and the film then goes past this sprocket, which is a hold back sprocket, then drops down to a spool. When we actually did use this projector to run film, um, we, we were using a thing called a platter, which you'll, if you look on some of our other videos on our Facebook page, you'll see the platter. That feeds film in via this roller, so the rope that came along the wall, into the projector and out on that roller back to a, a platter but for today we're going to use spools we're going to put a spool on that one that's the, that's a supply spool and another sp spool down there that's a take up spool and we're actually going to run some film so this is the spool of film we're going to run this is about 17 minutes worth 18 minutes worth this is roughly the size of a real or feature film feature film will typically have six of these and um, uh, as i say we would run it joined together on a platter in the old days they would have run, or we certainly did when I worked here a long time ago, we would run one reel on this projector, change over to our identical projector next to it, and change back. So every 20 minutes we're changing over. Or if we use the large spools like this one, we could get three spools, three reels on there, and we could run an hour's worth of film. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lace this up. Yep. So projector's been cleaned. Um, so what I'm going to do is pull this, this is a leader, this is a bit that you shouldn't see on the screen but everyone's seen these flashing on the screen, the numbers flashing on the screen, this is for the projectionist to lace up. So around the top roller, around the first sprocket, I'm going to go into the projector gate. Form a loop at the top, and I'll check that that's in the rack in a second, close the gate. Another loop at the bottom, around the sound head, around the old back sprocket. 
big enough. There we go. And then the film's going to go away down to the take up spool at the bottom. Stop it there, mate. So we're laced up, we're ready to go. Everything's checked, the loop size is all good. Um, Pinch it over, everything looks good. So we should be fine to run this little reel of, um, of old film. What I'll do, once I've got this running, I'm going to restart it and go into the screen and actually video it so you can see what we're showing. Just a few old clips from the 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, there will be some flicker on the video that you see, but that is just because of the uh, speed of the uh, recording on the camera beating with the shutter of the, of the projector. There'll be some flicker. Anyway, let's we'll start it and you can see what's what. So, the lamp's lit, the press start. We're going to open the light. Only £343 Australia can be yours. It's a pound stretcher low fare by British Airways. From £343 return from London. For full details, get a brochure from your travel agent. For up to four free brochures offered by Yorkshire Holiday Spots, fill in the coupon in the current TV Times, or today's Sunday Mirror, or ring Leeds 40188. When you spend 33 pence on your first pack of cool, mild Panama cigars, it's worth remembering that with Panama, there are six shrimp panatellas in every pack. I say, the pubs must be about open now. So remember, Panama add up to something special. Because if you don't, someone else will. Thanks a lot. John Player, Panama. It's me, over here, your Granada TV showroom. And I want to show you my fantastic new Finlandia Color TV. A 26-inch set, instant picture, slide controls, hi-fi sound, a slimmer 110-degree tube, and more. The Sensomatic Channel Change System, which means you can change channels at the slightest touch. Now, doesn't that call for a little applause? See Finlandia Color only at Granada TV Rental, or call for a free trial. Be 
people are coming in more and more asking for cigars with their drinks. Well, Castella seems to be my customer. It seems to be the right size. It's a mild cigar. It's well priced. Good value for money, definitely. <laughs> Castella, at the price, there's no better way to make a good time great. Drink, darling? Mmm, Chisano Bianco. Refreshing, cool, clear Chisano Bianco. A subtle blend of wines and herbs. Refreshingly light and bright with just a hint of sweetness. Chinsano Bianco has the bright lights taste. Chinsano Bianco. Chinsano Bianco, the refreshing drink with the bright lights taste. Hey, Mum, you've painted the kitchen. And? And you've got a new electric cooker. Don't sound so surprised. I haven't given up yet, you know. Ooh, yours is a stay clean oven. Oh, has it yours? Mine also has these new rings. Well, I only use half a small pound. It saves electricity. But it's all so clean. You should tell your Dennis about it. I think I will. I can't have my own mum showing me up. Electricity. Now you're cooking. side of this auditorium have been designated as no smoking areas. Your cooperation is appreciated.
comes again, it's zero hour. And into battle on another Saturday morning. Won't she ever learn? Yes, you, madam. Haven't you heard? Heard what? About the Saturday film club. The Saturday club? Johnny, Sue, come with me. Attention. Excuse me, madam. It's Mum. Good morning. I'm investigating leisurely shopping on Saturday. So am I. Do you know I found the most wonderful place to send the youngsters on a Saturday morning? It's the Saturday Morning Cinema Club. And it's open from 9.30 to 12 at the Odeons and Go-Ons. We've only just heard... Oh, doesn't she go on? I want to see the show. It's fab this week. The Saturday Club. The Saturday Club. easy to join. Ask in the foyer. Thrilled by the towering inferno. Yet you were terrified by earthquake. I tell you this building is unsafe. As the nurse, Jack Roberts as the governor. Governor, the city's in flames. The National Guard's powerless to deal with the situation. The dam is threatening to burst. The airport has been seized by terrorists. Governor, what are we going to do? Donald Sutherland as the clumsy waiter. The first totally out of control motion picture comedy. <laughs> You are aware this motion picture is shown in feel around. Yes.
we are pleased to announce our intermission. Tasty. Cool. Cornish Sunday and other delicious ice creams. In the foyer, refreshing cola. Tasty hot dogs, the modern cinema snack. Now, it's time for ice cream. Or maybe some nuts. A cool glass of orange. Why not try a hot dog? Or a sparkling ice cool Pepsi. From the sales girls and in the foyer. Now. who are thirsty, the whole auditorium has been designated as a key or a drinking area. You are requested to comply with this arrangement and try not to make infantile slurping noises through the film. Never has such a refreshing experience been offered at this or any other cinema. Kiora, on sale at this moment in time. Get the big taste of Wessler's hot dogs. Bite. After bite. After bite. Big tasting Wessler's. Get them where you see this brand. Ladies and gentlemen, your projectionist tonight is Eric, who has a hot, thirsty job, which he does very well, and uh, unlike you, hasn't time to get himself a refreshing drink of Kia Ora. Thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Do hope you enjoyed yourselves. Safe journey home, and see you again soon.